Hey guys, Dustin Von Warnke back with you with another module on using your message and brand for success. Um, your message, your brand, your success, that's what we're all about in this uh, course. And uh, I'm really excited to have a chance to be with you if you're watching or listening, however you are uh, digesting this content, I want it to be of value to you. And that's what I try to offer in every module that we do in this thing. So um, basically what we're trying to do is step up your game, all right? Step up your game to new levels, uh, whether that be going for making more money, if that's going to be for launching a brand, for uh, launching a product or service, or doing you know something like that, um, or just, just becoming a pro staff, whatever, okay? Whatever, this is, this is for you, okay? This is for anybody that wants to up their game in the industry, especially in the outdoor industry where it is uh, fierce and competitive and you have a lot of noise, all right? You have a lot of people that are um, trying to compete for the spotlight okay you have a lot of people that are trying to uh, to compete for those same positions and you've got to stand up and, and stand out and be bold and, and stand out from the rest of those and that's what I've, I've built my whole basis of success and what I've achieved in the outdoor industry and the amount of YouTube views that I have and the amount of um, ebooks that I've written and uh, and um, podcasts that I've done and downloads that I have and so on and so forth you know it's all about just uh, just providing value. It's all about um, you know getting out there and getting things done, and educating and inspiring and providing value in return of what I give and uh, what I what I what content I create, and uh, that's what this is Im important and that's what this is about. So we're going to talk about some basic things that you can basically do to help uh, you and and basically what media channels you can use to uh to up your game pretty much okay to um get out there and get things done and so we'll get to our, get to our slides here all right so there's five main components for success and i picked this up from a guy that teaches nothing but success coaching for a living um so i borrowed this from him and uh this is basically just a, a way that you can engage with people in a way that you can um tell your story and uh and and, and move on your brand okay so the first uh, first component here is an introduction to you. This is both the least important and the most important component. And I've talked about this in other parts of our series here. Tell people about yourself and why you do what you do, where you've been, where you're going, all right? It is said that uh, people don't care about your problems, and some of them are glad that you have them, okay? <laughs> that's that's an old saying. I think 90% of the people don't care about your problems, the other 10% are glad you have them. Um, so you want to make yourself important and, and known that you are an expert in your field and that you're somebody to be listened to and that you're somebody that's relevant, all right, and somebody that's engaging with them. You do that through engagement. But you don't want to make it about you, all right? You want to tell people about your story. You want to tell people about what you're going through and where you've been, what you're doing, and where you're going in the future. But you don't want to make the whole deal about you. And I hope you guys have seen that. I've not done that about me. I tell stories and talk about uh, concepts and successes and failures and stuff that I've done to help you be able to go out and have the best of the outdoors. So that's my whole goal there, all right? Uh, number two, it's all about them. Ask open-ended questions, who, what, where, when, and why. Um, these are all good questions to ask when it comes to engaging with people, and this goes right back to the series I talked about engagement being one of the most important things for you to do. Um, so basically, you're asking open-ended questions in a video. You can do that through a podcast. You can do that through uh, a, a written article or a blog. Um, but you want to make it about your audience. That's very important. Same deal with where you're talking about your experience, where you're going, where you've been, where you are. Um, that, again, needs to be relevant to your audience for sure. And then number three, what pain are they in? What pain is your audience in? You need to know what problem you're solving, all right? So the, so the problem that I'm solving for you guys on this series and this course is basically, um, you know, how to achieve more success, all right? The pain you might be in is being stuck in a job you like, not achieving the amount of success that you want, not having the income that you desire, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, um, those are kind of your pain points that I discuss with you uh, of ways that I can help you. All right, and we talk, we move right into number four, which is the solution. This is the pain reliever. You have to have the solution before you ever start talking about the pain. 
All right, so you've got to be the person that has the solution to people's pain, and that doesn't mean you're the Saturday savior for any reason. All right, you're 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 not the cover of a magazine as a functional savior getting out there and saving the whole world. You're basically just offering something that can help. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to do with you here on this video series. Is basically offer you something that's going to help and be a benefit of you, uh, for you, for them. All right, for your audience. All right. So uh, that's basically your, your fourth component for success is having the solution or the pain reliever, okay? Um, and then uh, number five, the story. A story format as always works best. Life comes at us through the power of a story. If you look back at Jesus' time, uh, he told parables. Parables were stories that were basically practical, uh, real-life stories that uh, that happen or may not have really happened, but they're kind of like fables in some cases. And and uh, what you want to do is relate a story format, and uh, that seems to work, be working best as far as my videos, the writing that I do, the ebooks that I write, and the um, podcasts that I do. I always try to tell a story. Always try to get when I interview guests on the podcast, especially pull their story from them. I had one guy recently on the podcast that I didn't hardly had to ask any questions. He just drove right into the story, and we loved it. I mean, the audience loved it. I loved it. He was an easy guy to interview because he had such a compassionate story uh, and such a passion within him for the fishing and hunting that he does in Alaska that uh, he just he was on fire. I love this guy. So uh, that's a fantastic um a fantastic way to do it is people love life comes to us through the power of a story but people love storytelling and love the story and that's why i definitely think you need to definitely incorporate a story in whatever content you create so that's very important